Let's talk about how to get yourself through 50 miles on a bike. Now that's a nice little number because it's a, a nice little threshold. For those of you living in, in Canada or places where we use kilometers, that's what, rough 75K or something like that? I can't do the math that quick. Uh, regardless, um, let's talk about how to get through a ride that's maybe a little bit longer than what you've been doing. Uh, the first thing to note is roughly how long is that gonna take me, okay? so. Maybe you've been doing some riding, you've been noticing your average speed a little bit, and you can figure that out. If you're a beginner cyclist, my guess is that 50 miles is gonna take you somewhere around three hours, maybe even a little bit more. Right there, we have a really good number uh, to start with because uh, you may or may not know um, that once you get above about 60 or 90 minutes of activity, there's a risk of running too low on muscle glycogen. And when we run low on muscle glycogen, so we run out of our carbohydrate stores, we have uh, the risk of bonking. Uh, bonking is when you get so low on blood sugar that you start to get a little bit frantic. Your eyes get bigger and you start to crave food and really uh, your performance will go off a cliff. And it doesn't matter if you're the best cyclist in the world or just starting. Uh, we all have the same response to running out of muscle glycogen. It's an awful feeling and you'll just want to pull over and eat a massive meal and that's not what you need to do if you're trying to get through 50 miles. So by knowing the rough timeline that this thing is going to take you, uh, that's your first indicator. If you know it's going to take you about three hours, well then you need to prepare nutritionally for three hours. Um, a good rule of thumb is to get yourself through uh, a bottle of fluid per hour. Um, another good rule of thumb is to be in that sort of 50 to 60 grams of carbohydrate per hour. If you're using a sport drink and mixing it the way they tell you to, typically the sports drinks these days are gonna have 30 to 40 grams of carbohydrate in a bottle. Um, and that's a great place to start too. I mentioned that you need maybe 50 or 60 or a little bit more. Uh, so you can supplement that with some gels or some blocks or a bar and make sure you get that amount of carbohydrate in the hour. So if you're going for three hours, you need to prepare. Uh, that every hour you need a bottle with about 50 to 60 grams of carbs, a little bit of electrolyte, and you should be good to go. The other thing is pacing, okay? So if you're going to ride for two, three hours, whatever it is, whatever the timeline is, you need to have a pretty good idea in your head of what that pace looks like. Now, I'm going to state the obvious. The shorter something is, the higher your pace can be. And the longer something is, the slower your pace should be. That's pretty simple. Uh, if you're going to do something that's five minutes, well, you can get after it. You can go super, super hard. But if you use that same amount of energy and you go out with that same intensity and you're trying to ride 50 miles, well, guess what? You're going to go super hard for five or 10 minutes and then you're going to go off a cliff and you're going to slow right down. So the best strategy for the longer ones, particularly a 50 miler, uh, is to just be really gentle with your pace. You should almost be in a place where you can talk to the person next to you. If you're getting to the point where it's really getting hard to talk, well, maybe you're going a little bit uh, too hard. Certainly, if you know some of your zones, if you've had some testing done, uh, there's, there's some really specific places that you can put yourself with heart rate or wattage or whatever tools you're using. If you don't have any of that, don't worry. You can just go on perceived effort. Uh, so how does it actually feel on a scale of one to 10 or as a percentage? If you're going to do a 50 miler, you know, 65, 75% is probably good. When you get to 85 or 90%, you're probably going too hard. So pretty simple. Again, like I always say, the best way to learn how to ride a 50 miler is to get on your bike and go for 50 miles, see what happens, troubleshoot a little bit and take it from there.